Hey, you there. I want to remind everybody that if you end up liking this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. And right now, YouTube says that over 90% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it would really help, and with that... Hello everybody, I'm Joel Homie, your guys' host for another great episode of the Joel Homie Show series, Gaming Thursday. Where today I'm going to be doing my very first, well, sort of, semi-professional video based around a game called Fallout 4. And this is a game that I've actually been playing for many, many years on different versions, such as PC, quite a long time ago, almost when the game actually came out. And then I played it on console, and I've been doing that for a very long time. And I recently got my own PC quite a while ago, but I more recently downloaded Fallout 4 on Steam, and have been playing it for a while. And with me playing it, I've always been the type of person to like uh, building settlements and all the fine details of being able to pick up items and decorate things. So I thought today I would show you guys my progress on what I've done so far, because this is actually a design for a settlement in Sanctuary in Fallout 4 that I've actually had for quite a long time. And what you see here in front of you is actually a design that I've been building over and over again in many different playthroughs for quite a couple years now, both on console edition and PC edition. So let's go ahead and get into first person and start at the entrance and we'll go ahead and take a look to our left and look at the water pump area. And then we'll start moving through the main sort of street area and take a look at the generator building, the entrance, and then we'll move it towards these two buildings in the back. So first walking through the main bridge, here is the sort of entrance way. So you can see we have two uh, Mark 1 turrets on either side. And then we have some power sort of conduit poles going on along either side. And then these run to a sort of like a spotlight right there that is sitting next to the Sanctuary Hill sign. And then next to this, uh, well actually rather next to this and next to the other side of the street, we have two of the guard post stands. So one of them having a one of the two guards that I have, they both have similar armor with the military sort of grade. I believe one of these Lost guys track, actually has uh, different that. types of armor. But they are, they look the same generally, but they are different types of armor. But anyway, we have two of them standing on these two guard posts. And then uh, walking in front of it over here past this uh, one of the two Mark 1 turrets standing there. You can actually see here is the water pump area. So all of this power is running down from the generator building right here, which I will go ahead and show you guys in just a moment. But first the power running down from the generator building goes over there as well as the rest of the settlement. And it also comes over here to the water pump area, which is built inside of sort of like these cement uh, blocks with these sort of cement foundation for the wooden flooring or sort of like the shack flooring I guess you could call it but here we've got two of the smaller water pumps and then two of the larger and in total this all produces um, 100 water as you can see there on the actual menu I'm currently low on beds due to me recently turning on my radio beaking but other than that, everything is perfectly good in this settlement with uh, all of the water. And then also over here, we have sort of like a little uh, stairway going down into the water. This is just something that I've always done. As I said, this is a very old design that I've been building over and over again for quite a couple years now. This is just one of the latest, actually the latest version that I've built. So it's a bit different, but I always like the idea of having a maintenance stairway going down if you ever needed to fix something. So that in-universe, it seems like it's actually an active sort of settlement where you do actually have people fixing things. And then moving over here, we have a guard post. This is the other type without the big sort of stand with the stairway going up the back. And then here we have the other variant of the Mark 1 turret that has the, rather than the three legs, just the one sort of post going down the middle. And then now let's go ahead and walk over here and start taking a look at sort of like the main street by starting with the artillery. So of course recently I did do the settlement or actually rather the mission or the quest where we, we actually take over the castle soon. with the Minutemen. And that. with that you get the construction plans to build artillery and one thing that Preston Garvey says is to build artillery at as many settlements as you can to cover or cover more areas so that you can throw the flares and you have a more likely chance of actually having a settlement that can actually fire rounds to that position. So I've, I've always been putting one here for a little while now with the couple latest versions of the settlement that I've built. As I said, old design, but this is a new aspect that I've added. So we've got a got another settlement here. You. This guy you doesn't have as me. much armor. But he does still have the sort of like the armor or the actually the army sort of uh, 
suit, I guess you could call it. It actually has a different name, but I've never known how to actually pronounce it. And then over here we have the artillery, of course, sitting on some more of the cement foundation uh, shack flooring. And then we have the power uh, post coming down from the generator building above that. And then, of course, just the stairway going up to the artillery. And then uh, right next to this, what the artillery platform is actually connected directly to is actually the sort of like the platform where there is a destroyed house right after you get out of Vault 111. I've actually decided to build up this style of building, which utilizes the shack walls and a bunch of different stuff like this. And all this building has ever been in this position is a generator building and a watchtower building. But in this current playthrough, I actually decided to not make it a watchtower building and make it just the generator building because with the last couple times that I've built up Sanctuary with the, the design that I've built up many times, I've decided to move the guard post area over here in Universe so that it seems a little bit more dedicated to guarding rather than being pasted right on top of the generators. So here, as I said, this is just a generator building, so you've got uh, medium generators running down here and with my most recent playthrough, that I did right before this on console, which was on uh, Xbox One. I actually had a lot more generators in here making sort of like piles going down the middle and going down the other side of the building as well. And then here we just have a sign that says electrical and then the conduits do run up through the stairway. As you can see here, using sort of like a little cheat that I like to use that uh, when you actually have sort of like this little wall platform piece, whatever you like to call it, you can actually stick this anywhere you want after you connect the conduit to it and get it all wired up and then it will go wherever and it will just sort of phase through like you can see there if i were to actually play this, this conduit as you can see it won't let me place it but when i use this it lets me place it because it's sort of like a glitch i guess it's just something that i've been using the last couple times i built up sanctuary and then we've got some lights running around and we also have some light bulbs uh, down on the first floor which i didn't mention and then up here, this is where the conduits kind of scatter all over the place and go to different parts of the settlement. So over here, we have the conduit that goes down to the entrance, as well as the water pump area. And then here we have the siren, which I like to turn on occasionally. I think it sounds cool. And then over here, we have the recruitment beacon, which, as I said, is just, uh, it's been turned on very recently because I only just recently completed my barracks building, which is that sort of box one over there. And then that is actually the food area, which I'll talk about in just a moment. It's on the other side of the street next to, I believe that's actual, uh, actually Mr. Russell's house, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll talk about that in just a moment. But other than that, I have recently completed Sanctuary to the point where I could actually turn this on and recruit people to actually come here. So that is why the bed situation is actually currently a little bit messed up. But anyway, here we've got the last power conduit that's just normal. This one has a switch on it that runs to the complete rest of the settlement. And then here we have the terminal, which I can access switches and stuff like that and turn everything off if I want to without having to actually access anything, which is nice. And then walking downstairs here, let's go ahead and go take a look at the actual food building, which I had just mentioned earlier. So over here, the actual food building is uh, very much similar to the other designs, just being made out of the shack walls and the shack floor, with just about everything else being based around the shack sort of building materials. And then my doorways, I don't know if you could actually notice, but the doorways that I always build are always made out of the complete steel design, rather than the shack doors, because the shack door frames are very sort of scrappy looking and have a lot of holes in them whereas these scrap normal walls don't have very many holes in them and they look sort of normal without a lot of wear and tear while not requiring nearly as much steel as this design does so walking in here I haven't put a door here yet but here we have a bunch of our crops and we have a settler working on this phasing through a crop oddly enough but as you can see I have these tucked in very close proximity to each other so I could fit as many as possible in a small amount of space due to a little bit of this actually being raised off the ground so I had to put some uh, little uh, shack flooring platforms here so that you could actually not see between the floor and the actual walls. And then going up here, here is where that little uh, spotlight is with another uh, sort of guarding post and then here we have a bunch of the sort of just normal little barriers going around here with the stairway and then the roofs of course and then running to my favorite building which is actually this one we're going to start right next to it right before we take a look at that building which is just the little sort of watch out tower 
that I've built up recently and actually got power running to the entire settlement recently, which is something that I thought I would mention because I had these lights actually sitting here for quite a while, but I only just recently got the resources to actually build power and get it going throughout probably about a quarter of the settlement so far based on what I want to build in the future versus what I have built so far. So here you can see this building is just sort of uh, built on two more of those cement sort of a foundation sort of shack flooring. And then we have two more more one turrets with the three legs rather than the one post. And then you can walk inside here and it's just a empty area currently with a radio freedom. A radio is just uh, sitting here next to a chair and a table. Thought I'd add a little bit of life to it rather than leaving this completely empty. And then I do have plans to actually add a garden post in here so that you can actually see people standing in here. But I haven't done that yet due to me actually working on other parts of the settlement, of which is actually this area. I've been working on this building for quite a while, and this is actually a very old building design that I've had basically ever since my very first playthrough when I very first played down. this. And no this is probably so. the oldest building design next to the generator building. So it's uh, one that I've tried to keep generally the same, but starting with the exterior, unlike the other ones, which just generally look the same not and not very interesting, here you can actually see we have Most some power armor running the top right behind the little barrier. So there is the first suit that you get. There is another suit of T-45 like the first suit that you get on the very first mission. And then T-51 and uh, Brotherhood of Steel T-60. Of which, in this playthrough, I did stick with the Institute, so I had to retrieve that off of a Brotherhood Knight. And then, anyway, walking in here, as you can see, this building does have power, of which, as I said, was done very recently. And here is where I said I really like to pay attention to the details and decorate. I have spent probably countless hours just uh, very precariously actually picking things up and setting them down by holding E and picking up items. Like you can see here, if I hold E, I can pick up this plate and set it down, which I've done that with literally every single item. I've just dropped every item that I picked up along the way, like scrap and all kinds of stuff like that. I will almost always pick them up and bring them here so I can decorate. Like here you can see are some uh, workshops. So here we've got weapons, armor, chemistry, and then we've got a uh, just some little things up above here like mentats, uh, buff out. We've got radix and a skull. And then over here, this is sort of like the area that I always thought if you were a new settler, you could come here and pick up a nice high quality weapon that's not like a pipe pistol or anything. And then here we've got chems and sort of like uh, medical stuff. So here we've got the mysterious serum, which is just one of the couple things that I got from that mysterious serum uh, sort of mission that you have to do uh, with one of the families and then here we have a stim pack and just some other general med and uh, sort of chem stuff lining this table here and then right above that here we have two photos of two different people that you actually get to interact with as NPCs here in the game and then next to that uh, we'll actually go back over here really quick because this is the kitchen the area that I've spent the most time uh, decorating and taking a lot of time to very carefully decorate so here you can see we have a bunch of items a lot of these I have stolen so you'll notice a lot of these actually say steal rather than take but we've got the fancy lad snack cakes we've got uh, pork and beans canned dog food noodles we've got the uh, the steaks we've got nuka cola just about everything I don't have the a Nuka World a DLC on this game on this playthrough yet, so I don't have the other flavors of Nuka Cola yet, but I do have some Nuka Cola Quantum, the cherry, and just normal Nuka Cola, and then right above that we've got all the other different variations. Like here we have the good sort of restored condition sugar bombs. We've also got some of the uh, Salisbury steak. I've never actually had to pronounce that out loud before. And then we've also got some other nice sort of uh, condition ones. Like here you can actually see we've got some of the insta mash which i actually believe this insta mash is the one that doesn't have any damage you get this when you actually go through vault one of the vaults one of the first vaults i actually forget which one it is but you get a bunch of the nice ice cold and good condition stuff which speaking of the good condition things here we've actually got a bunch of uh, the nice clean plates a perfectly preserved pie and then here i've got a restored fan just some other uh general items like we've got clean coffee cups clean plates unrusted cans we've got a couple nuka cola bottles and some ice cold nuka cola and then we've got a cooking station and then here we've just got some crops like a carrot we've got corn uh, tar berry we've got tatos and then just some other general things there and then here we've got a shop i put this in very recently and haven't assigned anyone to it yet and then here we've got sort of like these i forget actually what this is called this is the scavenger station 
And then here we have sort of like a waiting area because I always imagine that if you were a new settler, you'd get to wait here and actually talk to me because this is actually my office space. So once again, I've taken some of my favorite items and decorated it. And as I said, this is a design of Sanctuary that I've been building many times over for quite a long time now. So I usually would have a lot of stuff sitting here for decoration, but currently I've been focusing more on actual quests so, uh, so that I can get more of the special items along the way. So currently I just have a couple of the cool items that I like that I always remember where to put like we've got here the Chinese officer sword we've got a distress signal uh, pulsar right there and then some of my other favorite items lining the shelf right here and I do love cats so we've got a cat picture there and then here is my desk so here we've got some of the volt tech munch boxes we've got an ice cold nuka cola quantum the eddie winter a uh, case notes another stored fan and an ice cold nuka cola which is one of the ones that I got along with the other two ice cold nuka colas that I showed you over there. And then here we've just got a, a radio just chill like there. And then here, as I said, we've got the Eddie Winter case notes and some other general stuff under there, like some uh, Mr. Handy fuel. And then walking over here to the other side, we've got another table if with a Nuka cola bottle. And then up. here we've got Don't the bobbleheads and the magazines that I picked up so far. And then here is sort of like my little paint stand of which I like because when you uh, do a little mission for Diamond City, you get to uh, pick up the yellow paint the blue paint and make green paint and I always like having these special items so I put all three of these here and then inside this is sort of like what I call my armory this is another spot where I spent probably countless hours actually very carefully putting items in very specific spots like here you can see we've got all kinds of grenades like we've got the nuke mine which I always found to be quite hilarious I've never actually even used one I just uh, I got one recently and decided to put it with some other types of mines and grenades here like here we've got a synth relay grenade which is one of my favorites both for looks and what they actually do and then here we've got just the other grenades this is actually just for more decoration and then here you can tell that this would actually be uh, sort of guns but these are actually modifications and then these are all legendary guns that I just don't use or actually carry on me as a normal thing Thing. And then up here, we've just got some more uh, general weapons that I like to keep in here. And then here we've got ammunition, which uh, once again, just use some uh, cool looking ammunition for sort of like decoration. And then we've got some more ammunition just chilling in here. And then right below that, we've got some more weapons. Here we've got the minigun and the flamer. And then up there is the Gatling laser. We've got the Fat Man, the Super Sledge, and then we've got some other uh, unique weapons right there, like the well, the, the pool cue covered in barbed wire, which I always found to be quite hilarious. And then here on the other side, we've got some apparel, also just some clothes. So we've got a Corsa uniform, some synth stuff, some legendary things, some stealth boys, and some other stuff like that. And then inside here, as you might expect, we've got a whole crud ton of uh, apparel and clothes in there for like whenever I need to dress up a, a settler for being sort of like a guard like I did with the other ones that actually stand at the guard posts. I will actually do that here and just come here for the clothes. And then moving away from here, you can actually see we've got another suit of T45 that I'm currently working on turning into the Volt Tech design. And then walking up, I believe I actually haven't done anything on the next floor yet. Yeah, so you can see here, this is how I'm actually running power through. So I just got a hole right in the center of the building. And then this does carry around to the top as well, which this is actually where I always have set up the sort of like the entire station thing that you use to get into the Institute for the first time, or at least the last couple recent uh, playthroughs that I've actually done. I believe recently, or actually some old game throughs I actually, or playthroughs I actually would build it just over there on a flat platform, but uh, recently I've actually been building on top of this building because when this is actually running and before you ruin it by using it, it looks really cool. But anyway, aside from that, let's go ahead and now walk down past all of the power armor that I had showed you guys earlier. So walking downstairs here, we can go ahead and actually take a look at the next building, which unlike this you one, know, won't take nearly as long to actually talk about because it's not nearly as decorated and then here you can also see as we walk we've got a lot of the different sort of uh special npcs that you can get so here we've actually got important uh mccready and we've got piper codsworth uh all the special people x6 is currently my sort of like in action companion we've got preston gorby piper we've also got the voltec rep and a bunch of different people here and then walking to this next building past all these guys uh here is the barracks building of which recently i did uh 
recently sort of decide to expand the design beyond the little platform where you can actually scrap a destroyed house and with uh, one of these cement sort of shack foundations once again so I can make it bigger. And then here we've actually got Buddy, the brewing sort of modified Protectron machine Three there, which I like having him here. He's fun. And game. then also this is the very first playthrough where I've actually gotten him. And then here we have some more power armor that I'm still currently working on. Here we've got another uh, uncomplete suit of T-51 and another suit of T-45 with the T-45 F torso from a mission where you actually have to rescue like some dude settler or some guy's kid I believe I'm actually not exactly sure what you have to do but you get that from a special raider but anyway walking inside this building this is just simply the barracks building which will eventually be sort of like the nice vibrant sort of hip area where the settlers can actually come to just rest and have a good time so this will be decorated with old types of stuff and then on the next floor, this will eventually all be beds, and you can see here I currently have a little staircase because I've decided to assign all of these special NPCs to certain beds so that they're all sort of like next to each other. I don't know fully why I do it, but I remember doing it in my last playthrough, so I decided to do it again this time. And then up here on this floor, there is still currently nothing, but this will eventually be beds when I actually have the materials. And then here is the roof. And then as I said, I did uh, recently decide to start expanding this building beyond the normal platform, so you usually just have one row of the shack roofing but now we actually have two and last playthrough I actually believe I made sort of like a tanning area up here where you could just come up here and chill and maybe get a little uh, radiated tan and then walking down here this is the last building that I had to show you guys currently of what I have actually been working on in Sanctuary and Fallout 4 so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video my very first one actually recording a Fallout 4 gameplay video but I really do like Fallout 4, it's an amazing game with an amazing storyline and, uh, well, very amazing building mechanics, which is why I love building in it, and as I uh, showed you guys in this building, I love being able Maybe to do the small details and decorate, us, but, but anyway, with that, I do hope that. you guys enjoyed today's video, and with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video,